Hey, this is G of Virgie TV. We're here with Maurice Tomlinson, Jamaican advocate for the LGBT community. He put on Montague Bay Pride, and he's also an attorney who has been doing some really powerful litigation here in Jamaica. Hey, Maurice, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Okay, thanks for joining me here. And I know that you have a lawsuit that's major that you've filed here in Jamaica. Can you share a little bit about what the case is about? Sure. So the Jamaican anti-sodomy law was imposed during British colonial rule in 1864 okay. and it criminalizes any form of intimacy between consenting adult men Okay. Um, and that includes holding hands in the privacy of your bedroom, mm. you know, that's considered gross indecency. The maximum sentence is up to 10 years in prison at hard labor mm. and then in 2011 we increase the sanctions against persons who are LGBT, uh, sorry, gay men who yeah. are, um, you know, convicted under this law by requiring that once you are released from prison, you must now be registered as a sex offender. Wow. You must always carry a pass, and if you do not have this pass, you must pay a one million dollar fine and spend twelve months in prison at hard labor. In addition, for okay. each offense of not having your pass. So the law violates a raft of rights found in the Jamaican Charter, including privacy, protection from discrimination, and equality with the law. We have filed a suit last year which challenges the law under the Constitution. And this is the second such instance of this case being brought, because the first time it was brought, the claimant eventually withdrew because he was getting death threats, and so was his family. So I took over because I had been his lawyer on that challenge. And I decided to be the claimant because mm -hmm. the law also affects me. Right, so you could be a plaintiff. Yes. Exactly. And the case had its first case management conference um, earlier this year. Okay. At which point, nine religious groups applied to be interested parties. Wow. And they claim that they have to defend this law, mostly fundamentalists. They have to defend this law because it will prevent the extinction of mankind. Wow. And keeping the law is necessary to protect their right to freedom of, of expression, basically their right to call these abominations and mm. etc. etc. And uh, the public defender applied to support the challenge because the public defender believes that the law should be read down mm -hmm. to exclude private acts of intimacy between right. consenting adult men. This right. is you know that's the standard across the the more you know we want to say civilized <laughs> <laughs> uh, Juris jurisdictions where this yeah. issue has been okay. um, addressed. And the court amazingly, in July of this year, the court amazingly ruled that all the churches could be allowed in because wow. their voice was important. Mm. But the public defender must be excluded from the case because the public defender needed to be neutral and couldn't wow. be seen to be taking sides even though the idea of the public defender is to defend the rights of the right, right, people, right? you know. Um, so the nine church groups are now supported by, of course, the government. Mm -hmm. So you have 10 against wow. one, Wow. you know. And uh, the public defender's appeal, the matter is going forward to the Court of Appeal, we hope, and we will be um, joining, that's myself and my legal team, okay. will be joining the public defender appeal because just to create some balance. It'd be nice to have two against. Of course, ten. yes, wow, wow. <laughs> you know, but this is the society we live in. So we'll, we're pending that, but in, the, in going forward, um, whether or not the public defender is allowed in, the next stage we'll be to have another case management conference to decide what witnesses, what evidence will be allowed in, and then to set the timeline for when the trial will take place, which we do not expect before 2017, sometime late in 2017. Late, okay, well, well, thank you for that, and good luck in that trial, and we appreciate all the work you do in the community. Rights found in our 2011 charter, including yes. privacy, protection from discrimination, you know, um, equality before the law, etc. So we're on location in Montego Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Without affecting religious freedom.